promised then. I'm in Scotland. Look at this. It is absolutely beautiful at the moment. Fingers crossed it stays like this all, uh, all weekend. We are allowed to cut around now. Um, obviously I'm completely self-sufficient anyway, so gonna go on, explore the tracks and trails, and we're gonna go get the car and back in Yakin Dubry Firkin Pass. So that's the plan. Next few days, that's where we're going. Here we go, making early on, getting icy zone, flexing, mm, I've been serving, make it trendy, we look sexy. Here we go, making early on, getting icy zone, flexing, mm, I've been serving. The start of the, uh, the trip then, and so far, so good. Hopefully the weather's kind to us all weekend, you know, get on whatever, but these uh, tracks and trails are immense, look at this. Some way, Dave away, Deb away, something like that. Anyway, it's going well so far. I'm super happy. Had a good week of work, got a lot done while I've been up here. And now I'm going to enjoy these uh, routes that Scotland has to offer. Let's get it. Okay, so we've been uh, bouncing along quite nicely. That was nice. Uh, now we're going to head that way towards those wind farms. I think that's the track it disappears over there, sort of cuts through up and around. Yeah, feeling good, enjoying it. Billy's doing well. Para racers, all loving life. So, yeah, good it, cracking up. So making sure obviously uh, keep hydrating that, I've got my trusty grail filter with me. So I was using the GP Duro last time, and as this is obviously you know prep for the GP Duro, I to check while my kit's working, uh, you know, getting that. So I feel like it's important now. Billy's up the top there, I'm gonna get this done. I'm also gonna put a Puri tab in it though, um, like I did do last time, just because you know, just wanna make sure everything's 100% clean and you know, don't wanna risk getting poorly while I'm out and about but yeah we get this done and uh, get back on the, uh, the gravel track Look at this sports fans, this is why riding in Scotland is awesome, particularly when the weather's being kind. Look at that. Nice. Anyone who thinks you can't find an adventure in the United Kingdom, check this out. Look at Scotland, look what Scotland has got. It is cash in checks, tracks, trails, everything. This is awesome. Awesome way to check the kit, awesome place to be. And I'm loving life. I really am. But uh, yeah, we're going to head over that way now, probably follow this valley along, see where it takes us. Look at this. fast as well so the only option is to go back up the river to where it looks shallower and uh, wade across because it's be over there on the other side of the river so I need to go that way and that's where I'm gonna go so wish me luck right quick update then 
done the river crossing. Feet are out. Crossed over just that bit in there where I thought it might be a bit shallow, but it came right, right up to my knees. Uh, I'll be honest, there was one point when I was going through the middle of there, I thought I was going to get pushed over because it was quite strong. So uh, always check the depth. And uh, yeah, we've got to cross up the bank and now we're back on track and we're going to crack on. So better get these bad boys back on. Right, that's me. Uh, that's me done for day one. I'm calling it a little bit earlier than I was planning on doing, but I found a decent spot. Um, so yeah, so I thought I'd stop. After I last obviously mentioned the, uh, the river crossing, had to do it again two more times. It was pretty hard going. So um, yeah, I thought I need to get a, a site pretty pretty early so I can get sorted and not have to worry. Because end of the day, I'm uh, just doing a bit of practice, so I don't want to be. Uh, killing myself as it was on the GP Joro so yeah all good but me and Billy are all right we're gonna set up camp and we'll uh, talk to you guys in a bit right camp's up and running then nicely set up now it is quite cold but got me food on got the bike all stowed away and uh, yeah secured pretty much good to go really so gonna have some food get nice and warm hunker down get a decent night's sleep because i'm not in a rush and then just get up and uh, crack on with tomorrow so yeah today's been good enjoyed it all right good morning then um yeah decent night's sleep really um probably looking fresh as an absolute daisy but never mind we'll look at the view hopefully it's going to be another nice day i'm gonna get sorted now have some breakfast and then we're going to get back on the uh, tracks and trails for day two. That's one. That's two. Whatever. But we're going. So that's uh, that's me up and having uh, breakfast and stuff now. Got me morning coffee, thanks to Aero Press. Well, coffee's actually thanks to Starbucks, Pike Place, Home. You know, that's that's actually my favourite one. So, But the Aero Press obviously makes it. Um, yeah, just a couple of little things new that I've been, I wanted to test out last night was my uh, new Thermo Thermos mat. That was, that was absolutely quality. It took about five, six blows to blow it up and it stayed solid all night and it was warm. So that was good. Uh, other thing is actually my front bar bag, but um, probably talk about that more in the day as I'm moving along. But yeah, just going to finish this brew now. Collapse camp, tidy up. Leave no trace because, you know, that's what we're supposed to do when we're doing this type of thing. And then get moving towards the Corinbacken, Corinbacken Pass. I will get there with that pronunciation. Anyway, have a good day so far. You lot, I will. And I'll uh, speak to you later. Right, so nicely underway now, which is good. Just had a bit of a tech issue. Um, pretty Wahoo wouldn't link load maps, anything. Had to do a factory reset, so thankfully that's all sorted and thankfully it's easy to uh, to sort until I've just gone up a steep hill. Woo! But yeah, so far the morning's looking nice. Fingers crossed. Continues to be like this, but look at it, it's beautiful. And we're going that way. Here we are. Right, let's keep plodding on. Stop and uh, just appreciate the view. Look at that! All over there, you can see it in the distance. Probably quite hard to see, but yeah, we're following this uh, 
National Cycle Route 7, I think it is. Quality. If you're ever up here and you're looking for a track or trail, this is definitely one of them. This is, uh, yeah, great fun. So heading that way now, gonna crack on down to this town, hopefully, and get a bit of lunch. Yes. Oh my days. That is absolutely stunning. I mean, it is second to none. What an incredible country we live in. Throws up stuff like this. This is unbelievable. I am having another great day. Checking this out. Right, just had a nice little lunch, lunch stop. Um, went through a place called Avonmore. I was just going along and that caught me. I saw a, a BT garage. Uh, did think about cracking on, but thought, nah, best swing back. Walked over the, the railway line. Got in there and it had an M&S. So it hasn't been just any lunch, it's been an M&S lunch. Um, just stopped in a little lay-by because I thought I'd ride out and have it. And now we're gonna crack on in the Cairngorms National Park, which is absolutely amazing. And yeah, get to the Corran Yakin Pass. Wish me luck. <laughs> shining but all good but up ahead now have a look I believe that in the corner is the Corin Yakin Pass that is where I'm heading so heading right into the mouth of the beast now I'm gonna take my time going up it but all the same let's get it done let's get across to the side and as always let's keep smiling Here we go, I suppose. Right, so we're part of the way along now, so we're walking around the corner, across under the power lines. Um, whew, yeah, it's hard going. There's those like little uh, bits where the water cuts across the pathways, like little ditches dug in, and there. Some of them are quite big drops and stuff, so yeah, quite warm at the moment, but I can feel the air's got colder. As you can see, where the power lines go up and round the corner that's kind of where we're going you can't quite see the worst part of it yet but it isn't too bad here it's when it gets up around that part it becomes a bit more difficult anyway 
steady climb away and we'll get there won't we there we are in the mouth of the beast well probably like the belly right now because we've dived into the mouth but there you go we've come down the, the valley from the left now and as you can see it starts to zigzag up that hill there um, it's on the right hand side of that feature but yeah so that's where we're going I crashed somewhere in there last time and uh, rode my bike off so this time we're just going to go steady and head over it so fingers crossed let's have some fun and I'll speak to you when I'm up the top Top. We're at the top. Yes, we did it. Stayed nice and steady. Just got over it. Look at the view. Look at that. Islands of Scotland. Unreal. I'm buzzing to have got over it. However, I know it's steep the other side, so I'm gonna have to take my time going down. Now, time to get down to. Uh, Forgot how long coming back off the top of that pass is. I've been sort of plodding along here now for a good half hour, 40 minutes, and deep in thought to be honest, just sat there just thinking to myself, oh yeah, I had to walk all this last time. Um just couldn't remember it. But uh I mean the views are still stunning and we're getting there, so Hopefully get over this hill because I'm starting to feel a bit hungry. I mean, I've got food, but I don't have to stop and make it. I can help it, so I wouldn't mind getting something from a garage. They seem to have plenty of savoury treats in these garages. It's a bit rocky, this. Woo. So I did mention earlier that I was going to say, say about the new uh, Life Venture bag that I've got in the front there. Um, or that one. I believe I got it from Wiggle, reasonable price, it's 11 litres, uh, yeah, perfect, it um, opens up both sides and yeah, you get loads of stuff in there, so, I mean, I've got my tent, my cooking system, clothes, everything in there at the moment, so, it's all good. Anyway, just thought I'd tell you that, I'm going to crack on now and uh, get to Fort Augustus. Right, we're down to Fort Augustus now, last time I was here and having a drink in that pub behind me, I had to call it a day on the GB Duro because obviously couldn't fix my bike. But uh, we're here. It's absolutely dead because of obviously, you know, restrictions and stuff. So we're going to turn, head off and start tracking along the side of the, uh, of the Loch Ness. So that's the plan. Let's go. Not going to lie, getting out for Augustus is hard. Steep. Car come in. Have a canoe on. Oh. Yeah, man, the view's good. But woo, it's graft. Right, that's me now. Uh, stop for the evening. I found a nice, quiet spot. Um, Camp kind of resembles a Chinese laundry at the moment, but uh, yeah, all good. Yeah, really good day. Really pleased to have got over the Karanyakan Pass through Fort Augustus and now um, on the way back. So, gonna get some food down me, have my hot chocolate, and get an early night. Cheers. Morning, um, I had a decent night's sleep, uh, and now we're leaving camp. So, as you can see, it's a bit, bit rainy this morning, so Gore-Tex on, but hopefully, have another good day. Speak to you later. Here we go then, the climb out of Loch Ness. 
Squish Max. Are you having my life? Woo! That's graft. Woo! So, morning start, start off pretty good. Beautiful view of a uh, lot less this morning as I was coming out and away from there. Sort of away from it now. Um, as you can see, I mean, Scotland is constantly giving a bit of rain this morning, but hey, what a beautiful country still. Great routes and uh, yeah, loving life. So now I'm just pushing on and uh, basically aim today is just to get back to Kinloss, meet up with the lads that are coming up this week for work and yeah, get ready for another good week. So, to the other pedals, keep smiling and crack it. Day three of Christmas tree watch, watch, and there they are. Tertiary grid for you now. Come get them, they're fresh. Big fan of a bit of architecture, and I've always loved the church. Look at that one. Beautiful stained glass windows. Scotland seems to have many varieties. I mean, if you're interested in that sort of thing. On the pedals today, that's fours or fewers, or however you say it, in the background there. Probably got about two, three miles to go, so nearly back, making good time. Really happy. Stunning views, great routes, great tracks and trails. What's not to love? Thank you, Scotland. <laughs> We're back. Right, so it dawned on me um, the other day then that I hadn't actually done a, an outro to the uh, Scotland adventure video. So here it is. I've obviously had a uh, had a week chop. Um, much lighter now, so I would have gone up those hills a bit faster, which is all good. Anyway, I had a cracking time in Scotland. It was fantastic. Um, really good to get out there. So happy to get over the Cognac and Pass and just uh, you know conquer those demons in my head. Uh, of not obviously you know nothing going wrong and all that so touch wood come the day of the races it's all fine anyway thank you again for joining me on these uh, videos if you like what you see then please uh, like and subscribe um, also just drop some comments in there of what you'd like to see in the future I've got plenty of plans for more events coming up um, and I will obviously continue to share them with you on the channel thanks again everyone take care and stay safe